What's up, y'all? We are back. This is episode 8 of the National Stampede Out of the Park Baseball 24 series. We're here. It's Monday, September 21st, 2026. Your Nashville Stampede are tied for first place, 91-61. and We have 10 games to go in the regular season. And I figured I'd jump in here because we've been on a bit of a skid. Arizona's caught up to us. Kansas City, uh, pretty close behind us in the division. So, uh, you know, obviously we want to win the division, get that first round by. Or at least not to play it in that uh, wild card game, which um, I believe is the two wild cards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's the two wild cards, uh, and then the two division winners are uh, have buys. So you know we want to avoid that game as much as we can, especially without an ace. Um, so we'll check in at the end of the year numbers. Uh, just a couple guys that have been doing really well. So, Yanni Diaz has doubled his home run numbers in, like, way less games. Uh, about two-thirds of the at-bats already doubled his home run numbers. Um, yeah, and it's been awesome for us. Um, Springer's been okay. Uh, he's had a couple rough games here down the stretch, but uh, hopefully he can turn around and be a big part for our team going down the stretch. We gave up a good amount to get him, so. Um, just curious. How's this guy doing? Okay. Um, and then I guess, I don't know who else to even discuss. Grant McRae's turned it on, on pace for 5.7 war now. Stolen bases are like half of what he had last year, but, uh, hell, still having a good year. James Outman's turned it on as well. Um, Bo Naylor continues to be a good player for us. So yeah, I mean, if we don't have a, again, we don't have like a, a superstar player in the lineup. Jack Early called up. I guess he leads our team in WRC plus and 13 at bats, but um, yeah, I mean, Peterson's been our best hitter. Uh, only a platoon guy though. Like he hasn't played much against lefties uh, and he's been so bad when he has hit against them. So, but he's been like fantastic when he hits against righty. So, you know, I'm just going to play to his strengths and uh, that's what we brought him in for. And that's why I have Guriel here too. That motorcycle is so loud. Who has been good against lefties? Not good against righties. So, um, Celia Matthias finally back. Uh, missed a bunch of time. Had a went to the minors for rehab assignment. Got a, had a setback. Um, and the the pitching staff has been has been fine. Uh, Hauk has regressed a bit. Savali's still been good, good enough. Uh, Gray's been our best pitcher here down the stretch. Dropped his ERA to four one eight. I think it was over five the last time we checked in. Dylan Cease has been good, not great for us. A um, couple of blow up starts, I think, have inflated his ERA, but besides that, he's been good. And Jordan Montgomery came back from his. Uh, he had a short injury, but yeah, he's been probably our, our best pitcher so far this year. Uh, we called up Logan Henderson, who's kind of one of our top pitching prospects. Was pitching well in AAA and AA this year. Gave him a shot. Uh, hasn't pitched much. And wisneski has been good, splitting time between the bullpen and um, and rotation. Um, besides that, everyone pretty much... Oh, actually, I got to discuss Cam Robinson. So, uh, unfortunately, he went down with uh, torn elbow ligaments. Um, this was about a month ago. And, yeah, unfortunate. Uh, he was having, you know, a really good season, all-star year for him. And, yeah, that sucks. He'll probably miss a good chunk of next year as well. Um, Hackenberg also went out for um, about two months with forearm inflammation. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for injuries. Not Nothing like, you know, like we didn't lose any. We didn't lose Rob, uh, McCray here, so Grant McCray. So, you know, that's like the only like essential piece to this team. Uh, I would love to have Robinson. Like he, he was a big piece, but. Yeah, let's, we're going to sim some games, uh, keep an eye on the standings. Um, so we we dropped game three of this series against Portland. Uh, Henderson looks like he didn't have a good appearance. Um, you know, we are pushing for a playoff spot, so I'm not going to just let these guys screw up and, uh, and ruin our chances. So um, I think it's probably the best view. I hope it's like... Easy to see what's going on. You can look down here for the scores, look up here for the scores, and then the stands are here. I don't know if there's a better screen. I guess we can go to the, like, the playoff chase, but I want to see the results and the standings. So 
Uh, looks like George Springer had an accomplishment. Uh, retirement. And then Jose Brave for a AAA squad retired. So a 10 inning win here. Uh, looks like Nieto win it. The, the soft hitting uh, defensive specialist catcher. Uh, Cease a really good start. Nice job. Apparently Cano is 2 and 9 this year. Ouch. So we're now tied for first place with Diamondbacks, and we're keeping pace with them here. Springer, three hits, two ribbies. Uh, Montgomery looks like, oh boy, that's not good. Uh, hopefully he's okay, because we definitely need him. Um, and now we play the Dodgers, another LA team. And we lose 5-7. to seven. Savali, not a great start for him. Did Henderson give up another run there? Is that what I saw? Oh no, he's scoreless, okay. We'll keep trotting him out there, I suppose. And Montgomery did get his diagnosis. He out for a week. So we might have to use a spot starter here. Back stiffness. Let's see what the severity is. Um, so a big win against LA here. Um, nice job by the pen, kind of picking up uh, how after a rough start. Um, so his throwing isn't impacted. I'm going to run him out there, I think, because we definitely need him. So we're still tied for first, 95 and 63 at this point. And we lose, so Arizona moves a game ahead. Uh, Mookie having a hell of a year for them. Um, yeah, Gray, not the best start, but he's been good, so I can't be too upset. Uh, so we're game behind Diamondbacks right now. And yeah, three games here. We got to, you know, <laughs> we got to win these games here. So Cease, Montgomery, and Savali will go in the series. So game one, the guy we picked up to be our ace, Dylan Cease on the mound. And we will lose 7-6. That's never good to see that. Uh, Peterson, a big game. He really he really had an awesome year. Uh, looks like Cease had a good start. Banks, who's been so freaking solid. This entire save, unfortunately, blows it. And then Cano picks up his 10th loss of the year. Uh, and Diamondbacks win, so this division's not looking good. we got to win out, and hopefully they lose. And I don't know what the tiebreaker is. Uh, we do have the first wild card, so we'll be at home for the wild card series. Um, assuming, you know, yeah, so there goes our season, unfortunately. So, um, some development stuff. This guy's starting to do a nice player. Third round pick back in 2024. Uh, could be in play. Um, Max Clark was good in AAA. I just didn't really have a spot for him. Um, he'll be with the team next year, I'm almost certain. Nice development there, though. Um, so, yeah, uh, Arizona wins the division, so I'm not even going to waste the volley here. We'll call up a spot starter. Um, it'll probably be Henderson here. Let's throw Henderson. I don't know if it's a volley will be on the rotation, but I know Henderson won't be, so not concerned about that. So we win 4 nothing. Grant McRae, 2020 season. So we make the playoffs. <laughs> um, and... Yeah, 4 0 victory. Uh, and Henderson was solid. Uh, really nice start was Nesky out of the pen. Uh, it's pro probably made himself on the in the rotation or in the a spot on the playoff roster. Had a really nice year out of the pen. I wonder what his splits looked like. Yeah, it was really good. As a starter, it wasn't bad either, but just kind of worked out the way that he was never um, didn't really have a spot in the rotation down the stretch. So. I see our three hitter is not on the roster, so we're gonna have to switch up some stuff anyway. Playoff roster. Um, looks like they left off Outman for a reason. Um, so Sully Matthias had him playing a lot against lefties down the stretch. Not much against righties though. Um, he'll make the roster, I'm sure. Well, I'm not sure, but I, I would hope so. But. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be tight. So let's let's go look at this. We gotta take off someone for Outman. I don't, I don't even know. If they're, if they're, okay, so we can probably get rid of a pitcher here. Um. Okay, so our rotation's probably gonna go Montgomery or Cease Montgomery. Hauk was iffy down the stretch. Savali's making a lot of money. Gray's been good. I think it'll probably be Hauk out of the bullpen. I like how his stuff's going to play up, too. Oh, jeez. Um, 
Yeah, his stuff will play up a bit better. Might even be able to use him, like... Yeah, we'll use him in, like, high leverage release situations. Um, Henriquez will probably get left off the playoff roster. Wes Neske, I want for his length, and then Ashby uh, was just a really good pitcher for us this year. So we'll add Outman to the team. And I think that's the, yeah, that's the only guy we really needed. Um, and we'll slot him in as our left fielder. And then uh, Matthias will back up the outfield here. And we'll have Urias if we need a match shortstop. Hopefully it doesn't come to that because things would go very poorly um, for our defense. So, I mean, I might move Peterson up to the three-hole here. I think, although I like Outman's overall offensive game a bit more, um, I actually think this lineup's good. I, I, would, I would make no changes to it. Swanson wound up having a good year, all things considered. Um, so, Matthias, did he play well again? He, he mashed lefties. Um, Altman not so, so much, so I think I'm actually going to platoon them here in the playoffs. Yeah, I think that, I think that's probably our best bet. Um, so we only, yeah, I, I, I like how this team's built, honestly. Like, a lot of, a lot of platoon guys, um, we kind of made the best of what we could have with this team. We finished in seventh in runs scored, first in runs against, bullpen was fantastic for like the fourth straight year. Our third straight year. I guess we've only been doing this for three years. Um, so, um, do we have a first round bye? I'm not sure. Are we? I think we're in the wild card game. Okay, I guess we're not. So, I guess I could just check the playoffs. That would probably make sense. So, okay. So I was off on the on the playoffs. So first wild card gets a bye. So we were fine. Uh, we do have to play the Dodgers, which is unfortunate because they're a very good team. Um, and then Atlanta, Kansas City will do a three-game series. Or best of three. Um, not necessarily a three-game series. Okay. So they only have righties in their rotation. So, you know, maybe Matthias isn't needed on this roster. And maybe, like, Jackson isn't needed either. But um, just in case... Uh, we'll, we'll have all these guys here. And then, I mean, in their bullpen, they have one lefty. So, you know, our lefty heavy lineup is probably going to have a nice time against the righty pitcher. So, they'll have May, Gossman, Go or sorry, Miller, May, Gossman, Gonsolin. As the rotation, we'll have Cease, Montgomery, Savali, uh, Gray. Although, I want to, for Gray, I'm going to drop his pitch count. Montgomery, I'm going to have no limits. Savali, I'm going to have a short leash. And then maybe Cease will do 100. Uh, we'll do 100 for you guys. We'll use our bullpen a bit more. Um, so here, here we go. Um, we're playing LA. Game one. Let's go to the screen. And we're in LA for this one. And we lose 3 nothing. Not much going for the offense. Three hits all game. We give 10. Cease not bad. And then Ashby and Arias. I mean... You're not going to win many games scoring no runs. So game two, we lose 13-8, to eight, and we go down 2 nothing in the series. Not a bad day for the offense at all, um, but Montgomery, yikes. Let's not even look at that. So we have an off day. We'll go to Nashville, try to salvage the series, and, and you know, come back from down 2 nothing. So uh, it's Savali on the mound for this one. I'm going to pitch Gray. Let's do it with Gray. See if he can uh, get us a game. And we lose 2-1. to one, Get swept in the series. Kevin Gossman shuts us out. Uh, Gray, you know, not a bad day for the pitching. But unfortunately, that's how our season's going to end here in 2026. So, um, yeah, we don't quit. Make it back. We were in the World Series last year, I believe, right? Or you're late into the AL or NLDS or NLCS. So that's an unfortunately short episode here, but um, that's how, that's how it works sometimes, I guess, in this game. Uh, playoffs is a crapshoot. You know, we won 96 games, but um, the offense kind of fails us. Well, it was either the offense failing us or the pitching failing us. Uh, the one game the offense hits, the pitching blows. Um, 
so let's let's go through the play options because this is going to be a short episode and uh, check out the playoff tree. So it's Kansas City. Looks like they're up big here on the Dodgers, and they sweep the Dodgers. Go to the World Series, and they'll play the Nationals or Twins. Nationals win 4-2 against the series against the Twins. So Washington, Kansas City. Is this like 20? Jeez, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if those teams have ever been good in the same year. I guess maybe like the mid-2010s when the Royals won it. Uh, and the Nationals were like a perennial disappointment every year. So 3-1 in the series. Royals go up. International Showcase. So the Royals win pretty dominating fashion throughout the playoffs. As they go from wildcard team to uh, beating the Diamondbacks with the best team in the league. Sweeping the Dodgers who swept us. So shows you how bad we were. <laughs> and then win 4-1 to against the Nationals. Um who have built up a heck of a team. Uh, first run scored. One of the worst pitching staffs you'll ever see for a playoff team. Wow, that is... <laughs> first and run scored 16th and runs against. Uh, and then the Royals, this play, uh, this World Series team. That's a heck of a player there. Carter Jensen, who's been uh, one of the best players in baseball since he's come up. And then, oh my god. What the heck is this? Holy crap. A one nine five ERA, two fifteen ERA plus. Uh and it's not a flash in the fan either. He's been one of the best pitchers in baseball since he's come up to the majors. Led the league in war the last two years, and including this year, I assume. Um, what the heck was I gonna look at? Um Negasuchis is pitching. That's a heck of a player. Uh oh yeah, what are you where the heck did he come from? IFA in twenty eighteen. Wasn't even a top 100 prospect until 2024, and then has done nothing but but be a stud. So that's wild. Um, and then the rest of the rotation, not that impressive. Uh, eighth in starters ERA, despite having Marquez in there. But yeah, they're your World Series champions, and we have a disappointing exit in the NLDS. So that's the episode. Offseason will start here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back and go through that offseason next episode. So yeah, we'll see you then. Goodbye.